What are some important tips when trying to lose weight, especially when it comes to nutrition? First thing I try to encourage athletes to do is eat often, eat frequently. Try to eat every three to four hours for blood sugar stability. Uh, this is to keep blood sugar stable, especially if we have the right combination of foods. Uh, and when we do that, we don't get as hungry as often, and we're not more as likely to want to eat so much, especially if you skip meals and go six, seven hours without eating, you're going to be extremely hungry and may overeat. Lean protein and fiber at all your meals. This helps keep you full much longer and keeps blood sugar stable. So, you know, let's just talk about breakfast. What does that look like? That could be eggs and oatmeal. That could be Greek yogurt with some granola and some fruit. Uh, that could be a whole grain waffle with peanut butter and milk. You can make a smoothie and throw some oats in there with some protein powder, milk, and some fruit. So there's a lot of different ways that we can get those combination of meals that can keep you more sustained. Adequate protein, as we talked about, needs to be every day, 0.8 to 1 gram per pound. So if you're 150 pounds, that's about 120 to 150 grams per day. If you're 200 pounds, that's a little bit more, as you can see. Uh, and if you want to kind of get an idea of what that looks like, you know, every ounce of meat is about seven grams of protein. So, you know, Three ounces of meat is 21 grams of protein. Uh, five ounces of meat is roughly about 35 to 40 grams of protein. So depending on how much you need, you can break that and break that number down into about six, five or six meals per day. And it'll kind of help you understand what that looks like. So if you need 200 grams of protein per day and we want to eat five meals, that's about 40 grams of protein per meal. Two servings of vegetables at lunch and dinner. So as we talked about, one cup of vegetables equals 20 to 30 calories. Uh, and these are lower calorie foods, good fiber intake. You know, we eat a lot of typically starch, bread, rice, pasta, potatoes at meals without any vegetables. Try to maybe re replace one of those servings with one or two servings of vegetables. This will save you probably a couple of hundred calories, but also keep you just as full as you would if you had all those extra starches. And also have a plan. Making sure that we have a good plan when it comes to nutrition. Maybe you need a meal prep to avoid dining out. If you eat out a lot uh, for your meals, then that's going to probably cause an increase in calories. Making sure you cook in advance, maybe on a weekend, cook a couple of different meals that can help you save uh, eating out uh, at a restaurant. Bring food to campus. So this is or you know an opportunity to maybe reduce your chances to overeat at night. That way you have snacks between the day. If you're skipping meals, this is an easy way to bring some snacks throughout the day to help you with good nutrition. And make sure you avoid empty calorie drinks, things like sodas and sports drinks and, and punches uh, that have no, no nutritional value whatsoever. Uh, if you're an athlete, there's a place for sports drinks, but during the day, we don't want to be, be drinking a bunch of high-calorie drinks because then it makes it more difficult to lose weight.